and rubber is an elastroma, which means its elastic properties is straight. Mm -hmm. Original shape. Rubber is an addition polymer of isoprene, which is the two main in form B, you, you date with the addition polymer, but this one is a very special polymer. It is a diene. You know what a diene means? It has more than two uh, double bonds. That is how you need to name it. So like, for example, Kichkua here, let me just show you, you are not if the diene. Two, we have three and we have four. So, you are told when you are naming, you start counting for the side nearest location of the branch. Of course, when you start counting, it will be this side, side nearest location of the branch. So here you see there are two double bonds, one between the first and the second, and the other one between the what? The third and the fourth. The fourth. So the you fourth. are told, when you are naming alkenes, you tell us where the double bond is. So when the examiner tells you, uh, when we talk about dihene, it means there are two double bonds. Where are they located? You one in a manisha, you will only pick the first carbon atom where the double bond occurs. So here there are two double bonds. Moja in kwa first and second, so we pick one. The other one, third and fourth, so we pick three. So the name is... One, three, diene. Diene means there are two double bonds. Where are they located? One between the first and the second, the other one between the third and the fourth. Then there are four carbon atoms, so it is a boot. And then it has a methyl in the second carbon atom. That's how we arrive at the name two methyl boot one, three, diene. Yes. Richard. Sour. Yes. Yes, in short, you say, but diene, die means two double bonds. You have to tell us where they are located. One and three means the first double bond occurs between the first and the second. The second double bond occurs between the second, the third, and the fourth. Then the longest carbon chain has four carbon atoms, and it has a branch in the name of methyl, which is on the second carbon atom, period. Now, twenty. how do you form uh, I, uh, natural rubber? How do you form natural rubber? It's very easy. There are two double bonds here. So what happens? One of the double bond will break. One of the double bond will break, and the other one will shift its position to the middle. So moja it a break. Then the other one will shift to the middle. So we have two double bond, but those are the edges. So one of it breaks, the other one will shift to the middle. And then one it shift, then we are going to have three ends on both ends. And that's how you form iso uh, rather natural rubber. Look here. During the polymerization of uh, rubber, one of the double bond breaks. One of the double bond breaks, and the remaining double bond will shift its position to the middle on carbon two. This leaves a lone electron at each, indicating that more monomers can join. You know the concept. Let me just explain. Yeah, the concept of. Uh, Therefore, one of the double bonds still remains after polymerization. So we have this, eh? I think you are seeing it, to Konahi. So what happens is that one of these double bonds will break, this one, it may break. After this one breaks, what happens is the other one will shift to the middle. Are you seeing what I'm, what I'm doing? Yes, yes, sir. If it break, we are going to have something like this. Oh, so I'm just this is just showing you. This is the same thing. That one breaks. I want to believe you are seeing. One of it breaks. I want to make it. So this one breaks. One break, the other one will shift its position. The other one shift position to the middle. So what happens like now? At that point now, we are going to have a free end. On both ends, there'll be a free end that now can join more of the monomer. Let's proceed. I want to show you how, how this thing can be very easy. Now let's see. So the double bond it break in kuja katikati. So katikati, there were now free electrons. So the both ends now are free. 
And when now they are free, we can have many monomers joining and joining to form a very, a very large, uniting now the monomer. Let now unite the two because we have this monomer and this monomer. Then we want to unite them. Then you're going to have that until there's a free end on both ends. So it can continue. You know, somebody can even tell you to, to draw a natural rubber showing two monomers, containing two monomers. You know, those questions are very common. But when they tell you to draw using very common one, 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 uh, two monomers, remember this one, you don't put it like a dot, when I cut to a dash. That dash means there's a free electron, just like this and that can come and join. You know, these are free electrons, these are free electrons that they can come and join, born like that. It's just like, for example, when you are with your friend, so what happened during the double, the breaking of the double bond, like assume you're holding your friend with two hands. So it free. free. So million and you can bond together. That's exactly the essence of polymerization. One of the double bond breaks and the other one she to the middle. Therefore, there will be a free end, a free end, a free end, a free end. And then they can now join together. Then what they join now, if now they combine the process now can be written as that. This now we have the, the monomers, then we are going to have that. Yeah, so you show with that. That the, now the final formula of the polymer. So simply in short, that is stress. The, 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 the way of polymerization of these things are that one of the double bond breaks, now the other one shift to the middle, then you are going to have the polymer, which is now the natural rubber. Is that does it make it very easy? Yes. Very, very easy. Happy, sir. Does it make it very magnetic? So this and whereby we my chemistry very pragmatic manner. So your order to machine to Grifania, we have now the the monoman dio here. So what really happens? The double board moja in a break. You in Guinea shift to the center. Then finally we are going to have free end, free end, work uh, work uh, brackets, now work a hand, period. You have drawn the point. Perfect. I have a question. Can I ask? Uliza. Okay, so um, there's this term that someone was saying that when you're writing the monomer, you're not supposed to include the hydrogen ions. Is that true? Which hydrogen ions? presence in the, the hydrocarbon. So one hydrogen atoms. But that you just need to write things like this. Yes. <laughs> no. Nothing like that. And the only thing that I wanted to tell you that because of purposes of uh, exam uh, shifting, the only thing that I want to open these ones as much as possible. Let it be open. We see Andike Ikiwa combined let it be are we together yes yes metal group just write it somewhere the metal group should always remain open when you don't compress it it's only that i'm doing it like that for purposes of presentation remember when you are starting look here when you're starting this one i don't know whether it is there. want to see this there Yeah, like this. Let it be like this. Sawa? Yes. Let it always be like that. That's okay. Thank you for that. I think, uh, uh, can I go to something else? They were, can I magnetize? Excuse me, sir. Yes. Excuse me, sir. Um, yeah? Instead of shifting the double bond, can you just fold the, can you just fold at that particular point? You? Instead of shifting the double bond to the sec between the second and third, can you just fold that? Can you just fold like the the structure? So that the, instead of the end was Is that what you are trying to insinuate? Hello. I'm saying that instead of instead of shifting the the, uh, the double bond to the, between the second and third. The double bond di baki paliko alafu yo are yuko pekeake i i i be like kikwe sa chini apu. 
I love sir. It will be the, the the breaking of the two will be on the two on the two carbons, the first and the second. No, there's no other way. That's the only, in fact, we are going to come up with another compound that does not. My friend, it. excuse me, Mister Mbaluka. We are being taught or being reminded on how we are forming polymer. So if we bring some other, we, I have a, some students who normally come up with such issues. They come up with ways of coming up with something you are teaching, but she is trying to come up with something you don't know where she is coming with from. So it's a challenge. <laughs> uh, let us stick to what we are being taught. You know, science is very pragmatic. Eh? Science yeah. is logic. So yeah. anything is dogmatism, and we have what you call conventional way of doing things. So if now you try to come up with those other imaginary methodologies, eh? you are going to come up with your own uh, substance, your own compound, which does not exist. And you lost. So just stick to that. I think students, we have agreed that this method is very easy. Just shift this one, shift the, this one break, the other one shifts. See, anybody can understand that. And we agreed it's very easy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Can we stick to that? There's yeah. no method. Can we go, please let us please move to the next. And that is now I want to talk about saponification. Manufacture of soap. So we are dealing with saponification and uh, uh, in saponification, vegetable oil in Mexico. Excuse me, teacher. Yeah. Teacher. Teacher. Before we, before we go to saponification, I had asked you a question on how to make the poly, to draw the polymer of propinonitrile when uh, and you're told to, to draw a polymer containing three repeating units. So how will you draw it? Poly propinonitrile. Propinonitrile. Polyponitrile. Eh? Let me just give me one, one second. Let me draw it so that I think that the... Uh, it's also something that is very easy, so I can, I think it's somewhere in my books, because you yes. know you can, yeah. So, uh, which is number, if you're using Guru, can you please tell us it is which page? Uh, we it. got these papers from your, from you, you sent them to our school and then our teachers gave us the Octopus Revision Strategy Alliance High School Workshop 2023, page 14. <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. We are in the yeah. How are you? Okay. Do you have the? I'm trying to get the the real. I know it is somewhere, but I'm. Can you can you be able to get the the structure? Can you read for me? <clears throat> it is a a few, like two carbon atoms uh, having a double bond, and then okay, it's hard to read out. That's really and then C double bond C and then it is CH2 double bond C H and then C triple bond N. Triple bond N, eh? Yes. Okay, I want I'm going to get, I think it's if it's not in that one, it is in the it is the book form. That is what I want to get it because I I want it. I think it's something that uh, it's only that you are just scared because of that uh, name. You Gina Tundu in a Shida, but let me just uh, simplify it. Uh, I'm not getting it. Miss oh, huh? yeah. Yes. Let me draw it. I, it's, uh, any 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 double. You it's the simplest, just like that. So we may it in a car heavy. Then there's a double bond. There's a double bond. There is carbon. And this one is just written, this is simply CN. Here is CN too. The so that, okay. Then there is hydrogen. And there is hydrogen. Okay. So, uh huh. Now, you do not say, it's only that see, this CN is, is further broken down into a double or triple bond there like that. Cindy? Yes. Using my screen? Yes, I can. 
So you see, you are told to draw three repeating units for this. And that's because the examiner has told you it is propenitrile. You think this is very satanic. It's very easy, my dear. This is what you need to do. Wherever you are carrying out any polymerase, don't be scared. Eh? Sorry. Amen. Don't be scared because the name is so tricky. As long as there's a double bond, just break the double bond. Changes to what? To a single bond. Tunayenda pamoja? Yes. Yes. Weka hivi. Sasa weka hydro. Copy. Just copy that thing the way it is. Copy. C. And uh, repeat again. Just copy. The only thing that you have changed is breaking the double bond to single bond. Okay, break EV. This is what you need to do. Now, work a dash, work a dash. Evo, Evo too. Work a dash, then right hand. That is, that is the polyp. Power. Thank you, I think it's something that hey. is already... that. I'm saying e kitu vile iko, e ndio the monomer. To convert it to the polymer, just copy the way it is, but change the double bond into a single bond. Sawa? Sawa? Yes. yes. Yeah. If you break, copy whatever is there, then on the end, they can dash, dash, even your polymer. The examiner can tell you to draw three repeating units. Just repeat this thing. You repeat Maratatu, EV, single bond, EV, work a CN, work a hydrogen. Just copy that thing, work a hydrogen, work a hydrogen. Higher. Dash dash. She can issue na ingine. Repeat it again. If it to hydrogen. Again, hydrogen. Dash single bond. Vile eco. This one. C N. Then hydrogen. Dash. So this one is for two repeating units. But now, if you are doing two, three repeating units, you don't, you don't put brackets and you don't put N. Sawa? Yes. Sawa, Sasa? Yes. And then, I have a question. Mbaluka, Mr. Mbaluka, before they ask another question, uh, I think the student wrote that formula directly or in a continuous uh, form, CH2 double bond CH, single board C, triple board N. If I'm not wrong, eh? that is why she could uh, get it as a monster. Some have encountered a, a no, problem. Was, the way it is written I, is just direct. It's only that now in America, because it's just copied from my book. It's, okay, I it, was saying... I, I was saying there is another encounter I've ever encountered with some students about the polypropene. Yeah. If they write it in a continuous form, yeah. if they don't put that a uh, 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 branch of CN, if yeah. they write CH2, uh, double board, CH, uh, then CH3, uh, I think they can get it wrong if they write it in a continuous form as uh, the student wrote, if I'm not wrong. So in polypropene, we normally write C, uh, we open uh, a board, that is HH, then double bond, then another C, then we project a, a hydrogen atom from that C, then either on the upper, uh, on the lower side, we write CH3. Yes, I think what we are going to do in a, in the near we'll be able to continue with that conversation later because of the mm. time fact. This one, you know, is a, just an alkene, so there's nothing even to to draw in a continuous model. But anyway, okay. 